Hello, I'm Alan Butler with Butler Contracting. Today, we're gonna to talk about an interesting topic that most people like to talk about, and that's metal roofs. So, you're looking at getting a metal roof. That's great. It's a very uh, common thing in Texas to have a metal roof. A lot of people like metal roofs, and uh, they're pretty durable. You know, steel is a good quality product. But there are some things that you should be aware of and know if you're considering getting a metal roof and how the installation process, the manufacturing process, how it all works once it gets onto your roof and what all that means. So sit back, relax, and we're gonna dig in so you can learn about metal roof installation on your home. So one of the most popular things that have come to the marketplace recently is what's called roll forming metal roofs. So what is roll forming? It's a great question. So roll forming is where a contractor might go out and purchase in a particular uh, trailer unit that roll forms your metal in the driveway for your metal roof. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna buy this machine from a, from a manufacturer that, that builds them. They're gonna bring it out, it's usually hooked up on a trailer and uh, they put this machine on there that roll forms and forms. It basically essentially manufactures the metal panels that are gonna go on your roof in your driveway. This is great for the contractor. It saves them time, it saves them money. They can buy the materials, the big roll of coil of metal um, at a big supplier. They get big discounts because they're buying the material in bulk. So that's awesome from the manufacturing perspective. And sometimes it's great for the customer because it can be a little bit less cost going that route. Well, some of the downsides to that are that now we've set up shop in your driveway, this particular contractor that might do this, they've now set up roll forming in your driveway. And Billy and Johnny on the crew now became the installer of the metal roof and the manufacturer. So we can kind of see where this might be leading depending on you know, how late Johnny stayed out last night or if Johnny paid attention to when the boss showed him how to run the roll form machine. Typically in a manufacturer setting, we all know we've all gotten and purchased things that had some kind of defect didn't work right. So there's quality control issues that may be at play here. So does the particular roofing company that's roll forming in your driveway and now manufacturing those panels have a really good quality control system set up? Is there consistency with the person that's running that machine all the time? Or does someone just go over and form a piece of metal? Um, there's all these variables. Did the guy who's really good at it, um, maybe he's on another job and they gotta use somebody else that may not be real great at it. So. The point is that if you're roll forming metal in your driveway, if someone's real good at what they do and they're highly trained, that's great. Um, the downsides are you're probably not seeing the same manufacturer warranties. You're not getting the same quality control. If there's an issue or a problem, um, you know, it's gotta be a really good reputable roofing company that's willing to come back and stand behind their workmanship warranty. And you're not just getting a tail light warranty. Um, you know, the warranty is as good as long as you can see the tail lights down the road. So those are some things to be aware of when it comes to roll forming the metal roof. A lot of companies are transitioning to this process and doing it. Not saying it's a bad thing, um, just some things to be aware of, what, what your comfort level is. <clears throat> if you're gonna pick a, or select a company that does this, I would highly recommend they're very reputable, they stand behind their work, they have good warranties, their people are trained well, and you know exactly what you're getting. So that's a little bit of tidbit on roll forming metal roofs and how it all works and uh, some pros and cons to doing it. So you can make the decision what the best option is for you. Personally here at Butler Contracting, I'm a big, big fan of quality control and something backing um, something that's on your house greater than Butler Contracting. For example, if for some reason, you know, I was to get hit by a truck tomorrow and my wife sells the company or we were to go out of business, nothing's backing anything that's on the top of your roof except, you know, my company and maybe the person who might buy it. So whether that other company may honor that warranty or not, I have no idea. Um, same thing with any other business that might be out there on the marketplace. So it's always good to have something that's manufactured by a company or something that's greater than the person who's putting it on. Even though we might honor workmanship warranties, it's always great to have something backed by a larger entity or a bigger manufacturer. So just some things to think about, um, consider. And then, like I said, not saying it's a bad thing. There are cases where it's great. Um, yeah, it's just up to you what's best for you. You got to make that decision at your house. We just want you to be educated at this point. I'm Alan Butler with Butler Contracting, where we're doing simple better, and we'll see you. Right
next project. Thank <laughs> you.